Hello, I'm Senator Dan Coats. After much thought and consideration, I have decided to vote against the Budget Control Act. I didn't take this vote lightly. I listened carefully to the words of hundreds of concerned Hoosiers who called my office and wrote and spoke to me about their opinions. Considering Majority Leader Harry Reid and President Obama control two-thirds of the government, I believe the Republican leadership in the House and Senate made meaningful strides in negotiations to cut spending without raising taxes on Americans. And while this is a step in the right direction, it is only a baby step, and I believe we need to go much further. I oppose the final bill because it falls significantly short of what is needed to address the severity of this fiscal crisis. For months, I have been saying that a credible plan must include at least $4 trillion in spending reductions over a decade and a commitment to restructure entitlement programs and our tax code. But this bill only cuts as little as $2.1 trillion over 10 years, and most of these reductions don't occur until years down the road. I also believe the bill puts too much confidence in yet another special committee to finish the work that Congress and the White House were unable to do. I hope this committee returns with more substantial cuts and real reforms, but frankly, I remain skeptical. Although the passage of the bill averted a default, we have not averted this fiscal crisis. The real work lies ahead. My sleeves are rolled up. I will continue to push to rein in government spending. I will continue to work to reform the tax code so businesses can create jobs and hire and I will not back away from entitlement reform. We need to restructure entitlement programs to prevent them from becoming bankrupt and denying important retiring retirement benefits for Americans. This first step is not a cause for celebration. Now is the time for Congress to deliver real results. Congress must commit to continue to address the root causes of our debt. We must make the difficult choices necessary to restore economic growth and good-paying jobs for the American people.